the idea of the construction of the 76-kilometer Kampala Jinja Expressway came into life in 2014 with work set to start next year. This project is expected to cost at least 4 trillion shillings and will be developed on a public-private partnership basis starting in Nakawa and ending in Jinja. Government has since been working on acquiring land for the project and compensation process, which has been in the pipeline since 2016. About 50% of individuals who own private land along this route have reportedly been compensated so far. However, there has been a debate on whether government should also compensate individuals believed to have encroached public land along this route. State Minister for Works, Musa Echweru, told NTV that cabinet recently decided to compensate these people so they do not suffer once the project takes shape. However, he does not specify the exact amount set aside for compensation. The money is now available. What was the task of the Minister of Works now, together with the high agency, UNRWA, is to bring the stakeholders on board. Minister Echweru says government has now embarked on gathering and verifying records of the project affected persons occupying public land and compensation will be made thereafter. It is not clear how long this process will take. Speculators are running now. Somebody is getting one or two, three plots within the, the road reserve. So we are going to compensate uniformly. If you have the assumption is that we are staying in one place. Meanwhile, Alan Sempebwa, the Uganda National Roads Authority spokesperson, says they are undertaking the procurement of the developer so works can start soon. We hope that by at least next year we should have a developer and then they will definitely commence with the implementation of works. The Kampala Ginger Expressway is planned to be complete by 2030. Daniel Kibet, NTV.